What's going on Wix Nation, MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'll be showing you an updated version on how to accept payments on Wix in your Wix website. It's more important ever today to know how to collect payments on a website with everything being virtual. Guys, I appreciate your patience over the last month. I know I've been a little MIA and that's because I've been launching a sales training company with my father and we've been working exclusively with an alpha client to prove out the model and it's been going great, but believe it or not, I've been sitting in consultations day by day, Monday through Friday, nine to five. That will change here in the next week and a half when we actually launch officially the sales training program at an event. So we're super excited on that. Just wanted to explain where I've been. Hey, if you're just joining us here on the channel, obviously you get a little example of where I've been, but thank you for watching. I would love, if you haven't already, to make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet, which is a pretty exciting place to be as Wix only continues to blow our minds and show us exactly what's capable through their platform. And let me be the first to tell you that's quite a bit. So thank you guys very much for watching. Now let's jump into today's content. All right, so to start actually accepting payments, we need to scroll down to settings, click settings, and then you're gonna find e-commerce and finance. When you do this, what you're gonna have to click on is accept payments. You're gonna click accept payments, which is gonna load, gonna work its magic. You're gonna go ahead and if you really liking me and liking the content, hitting that like button down below. Uh, and then Wix gives you some payment options to be able to start accepting payments. So there is a couple different payment options. You have accept credit and debit cards with Wix. This is Wix payments. This is their in-house payment processor and it removes the need to go through a lot of different payment processors because Wix does it in-house now. So you can accept all major debit and credit cards straight through Wix using their payment processor. They recommend this well, one, because it is there, so of course, you know, they're getting processing fees, et cetera, et cetera, um, which is just normal for any payment processor. Don't think that's out of the norm. So obviously they're gonna recommend that. They took all of this time to build out a payment processing system, which props to Wix. But to start, you would press connect. Okay, so we just have to confirm we're not selling any of these restricted uh, items here, and or if, Actually, if you are selling them, you just have to make Wix aware of what you are selling. Um, that's why you would press yes, I do and connect another provider. So they would walk you through the steps there if you are selling any of these, but we are not. We're gonna press continue. And then essentially what Wix is gonna do is it's going to load up here and it's going to work its magic and it's gonna tell you your Wix payments is connected. Now, in order to accept payments on any Wix website, you need to have a hosting plan, which means you have to have a premium Wix account. And it's gotta be one of the business and e-commerce plans because that's the only type of plan that will allow you to accept payments. Now, whatever one of the business and e-commerce plans that works best for you is fine, doesn't matter, but it's gotta be one of those because that's what will allow you to accept payments here on Wix. So it says it's connected. You have to upgrade in order to actually start using it. Um, but in order to actually start using it in addition to upgrading your site, you have to complete setup. And then setup is gonna have you go through a lot of different adding your business information, verifying your type of business, et cetera, et cetera, choosing your payout schedule, your personal details, address, all that good stuff, bank account information, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna have to come through and fill that information out in here. So that's how you're gonna actually set up the Wix payments account and they will then approve your account after they verified your details. So Wix payments is one way to accept payments. The other way to accept payments is PayPal. Now with PayPal, this is your classic tried and true payment processor. You would just press connect and then what it would do is it would have you add your PayPal email and then press connect and it's pretty much that simple to start adding PayPal. Now with PayPal, it will take people off site to go to PayPal to complete a purchase. So please be aware of that. So that way 
um, you're aware that with Wix payments, that won't be the case. It'll happen right there on site and you can collect payments on site. They won't have to go off site to go to PayPal to make a purchase or complete a purchase. But connecting PayPal is very easy. Um, but I would say you don't have to be approved and go through the entire application process, which is still very easy with Wix payments. But realistically, you do. You just have to do it with PayPal. So you're not doing it here on your site through Wix, but you are doing it with PayPal. And then your last method of accepting payments here on Wix is manual payments. So this is if you're accepting cash, check, or other forms of payment outside of your website. For instance, maybe you've got a community website. People have to pay their dues to you outside of the site, and they get access to the site. That's just an example of something that could be uh, as far as the case for accepting payments offline. But that is a method of doing it. Wix does have a few more payment options if you click uh, more payment options, which is very nice. They just added these, which is part of my update video. Um, so they've got a lot here, actually. They've got pay safe cash, and it lets customers make cash purchases uh, safely from your website. They've got afterpay. It gives shoppers the ability to break um, totals into four different installments after the uh purchase has been made so they're actually making their purchase in four installments which is nice and there's no interest attached to that so after pay is a very popular one especially for e-commerce a firm that's uh, just quick financing that allows people to pay over time so it's uh, more of a financing option uh, so they've just added this a point of sale pos system this is good with the wix mobile app if you're a restaurant food truck etc a pinwheel you could accept Debit from uh, debit and credit cards from customers around the world. This includes, as they say, high risk businesses. So this is a little bit more inclusive of how people can pay. Uh, they've got. I know I'm going through a lot of them here. They've got uh, Sezzle now. It's a buy now, pay later solution, kind of like Afterpay, but this is breaking interest interest free installment payments over the course of six weeks rather than four different installments. They've got Alipay. A lot of you are aware this is a payment solution for Chinese websites. And then they've also got third party uh, credit and debit card providers. So Stripe, Square, Braintree, Pinwheel, uh, they've got all of them. So this is a pretty big update because in my previous videos on accepting payments in Wix, you didn't have access to any of these minus Wix payments, PayPal, and manual cash payments. So Wix has like went over and above in terms of adding new payment processors and providers to be able to seamlessly integrate with your Wix website, which is a pretty, pretty big deal. So I hope that uh, these have been helpful. And just in case you didn't know, if you're going to go through the third party ones, just like all the other ones, you're going to press connect and it'll have you go through and either connect and log into an existing account and or register for an account with one of these, you know, Square, Stripe, etc. So just to be aware on how that works moving forward and how you actually set up your payment processing um outside of that guys that really concludes showing you the new updated 2021 version of accepting payments here on wix i do want to let you know if you're using wix paid plans another option will show up between accept payments and invoices and quotes and it'll say payment plans uh, this actually allows you to choose which of those payment processors you would like to use for your Wix paid plans option. So it allows you to actually customize based off of the app, which payment processor you want to use. So they've gotten really sophisticated with that and really, really helpful to the end user. And I hope you see the value in that. And I hope this video helped you out again. Sorry for my little absence there over the past month. I'm sure you guys understand. And uh, if you've got a business, a professional service business that sells via consultation, you may need our help um, because we're closing at some extremely high rates and we're going to move niche by niche. Uh, we're starting with attorneys first, but that's a separate topic for a separate time. If you are interested and need some sales help to in, uh, increase your higher rate and build automatic and predictable results with your sales, please feel free to reach out to me and email me. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Please drop a like down below. Comment. Comments help the video. Let me know if you like this video what other videos you'd like to see. And lastly, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. 
turn those bell notifications on and you'll instantly plug into the largest wish training community on the internet. We only continue to grow thanks to you and I'm excited to continue pursuing this and continue providing you excellent content. I assure you this content will not be going even though I'm launching a new company. You can still expect to see hopefully at least a video a week for me here on the channel and each video now that I have more time to make it and it's going to be one a week will be chock full of big important information and it'll be extremely helpful maybe complete guide type videos so just something to look forward to and look out for uh, but you have to be subscribed in order to make sure you don't miss that so make sure you do that otherwise thank you guys for watching thank you for your patience and i'll catch you on our next one